they're transferring over all the uh, bumper accessories from this uh, bumper on a 2018 Honda Accord. This includes the grills, upper and lower, and the fog lights, fog light bezels, and all that stuff. So we're starting with the bottom grill because the bottom grill is sitting on top of. Well, I guess the, the, there's a big piece of the grill, and it goes across the whole bumper. And the bottom grill is situated right on top of the top one in the middle. So we're going to loosen all the screws up and take the bottom one off first. So we can see how we're going to take off the top grill. That wasn't even the grill, was it? It was just a piece? Bracket? Yeah, it was middle. Just back support. Piece. Back support. Side, but there's also one up top here. See it extends. Just take this off. Easy. So it extends and then there's one up here as well. Sorry by the headlight. in here you using a very thin flathead for a screwdriver so we removed that piece I'm just gonna go along the wheel and just put pop the clips off And he's just wedging the uh, screwdriver in there, the clip, and just popping it, popping the tab. So this is a lot different from the older uh, cords. So the grill is so much more prominent. So it looked difficult, but it wasn't that bad. So this here, it's kind of hard to see. It's a trim piece right underneath the headlight, and it just clips in, so it just pop off. Okay. Just popping those tabs. Once you get off like the first two tabs, pretty easy. You just pop it and pull it from the other end. He's popping it back in and he's pulling it with his hand back here. Since we're here, we're gonna do the fog light. So as you can see, we magically teleport to the other side because we practice on the other side and we're gonna show you on the passenger side or driver's side actually. Two screws. For the fog light. We're gonna take off the uh, brake dust. Brake duct. Brake duct vent. So the fog light clips tend to be a bit more, I guess, rigid. They're just a lot harder to take off. Because it's holding the light, so. So what we're doing is loosening it around the whole bezel, little by little.
So as you can see, the, the clips went down a little bit, and loosened them. We're just working away around the whole bezel. There it is. So it's a bit of a pain, but just, you know, don't give up. front. Make sure you uh, hold it secure so you don't drop it. So we're taking off the bezel here. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> don't lose your eye when you're taking off the bezel. Last one, so on. Oh, don't forget to take off these. What are these? Clips, clips retainers. It's basically what you thread the uh, screw into. So now we're gonna trash this old bumper and get the new one and install the uh, fog light in the grill. And now we're installing all the accessories onto the new bumper, which are the grills, the fog lights, the bezels, the filter pieces, and all that stuff. Bottom. Make sure it's lined up so it. Perfectly. We're just going to push in the uh, bezel so it clicks in. So we're just making sure that the clips are all the way in. So don't forget to put in the uh, clips, otherwise your screws will not thread in to hold in the fog light. It's important because putting that bezel uh, on or taking it off is a, it's kind of a pain. So now we're just hand tightening the screws. So the hole wasn't made for us, so we just drilled a hole really fast. Now we're gonna put on the bezel. For the brake duct vent, gonna push it in. Adjust the screws. Okay. 
and now we'll move to the other side. So again, we're starting with the bezel. Just make sure it's lined up correctly. So we're gonna start with the uh, screw retainers for clips. Don't be like us, don't forget it, and then have to take the bezel off again. Insert the fog light cable, and then bottom bracket first. Oh, make sure you're holding it, because you don't want it to fall. That's why we're putting screws up top first, or in the back. Again, so this hole was not tapped on the aftermarket, so we're just gonna drill it real quick. So we just drilled a small little hole. Now we're gonna insert the screw. And now for the bezel. So we got a new bezel for this light. Okay. trim piece on the top underneath the headlight. Just snap it in. Secured with one screw. Oh and yes, it's missing a brake duct. So that is the support bracket that was on the bumper. So we just cut it off because that's what it requires. As you can see, there's uh, scissors for cutting. It's also easier to install the hardware too. So now we're gonna put on the grill. So the bumper is flimsy because there's nothing in the middle. And this is where the grill comes in, with that giant bracket. Okay, so you can't see I'm holding the other end just so it's sturdier. So if you have a friend, ask him to help out. And you just have to align the tabs. All right, so you just snap it in. And this is what's gonna make the bumper a lot sturdier once we get it in. So once we have all the uh, so once we have all the clips in, secure, just put in the screw. There's one on each end. Basically, just working backwards. We're gonna put on the support. This one in the middle. Two screws on each end. Oh, and two in the middle. Good. 
and that's how you transfer over all the accessories onto a front bumper of a 2018 Honda Accord. As you can see, we transferred over the fog light bezels, the little driving lights, upper and lower grille assembly, and all the associated wiring and brackets. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.